Okay, this is for the Dojo leaders using the um, application on the PC. So this one is off the assumption that you've captured some of your members' details using the application. Uh, now you've gone onto the PC and you'd like to look at some stats. Now before we look at stats, it'll be another video. I'm going to show you what we can do in terms of um, capturing new members and sending them emails as well as doing bulk um, attendance loading. So this is your dashboard that you'll see as you come in here. Um, what I'd like you to pay attention is this, this is your home button which will bring you here or your members button and will show you for your dojo which members are in your dojo. As you get new members you obviously would add in new members and very importantly for instance when you add a new member you have to capture all the details such as name, first name, uh, this will be automated, the member's ID which dojo they belong to is very important to mark off your dojo. I think you'll only have access to your dojo. Uh, show them as active and they are student, as well as male or female, the tick box here. The other thing is also the email address, mobile, and the mobile number. Uh, the last important thing you need to remember is also giving them a password. I, by default, have given everybody uh, their first name as a password. Remember, this password is linked to the UID, which is to allow them access to the um, the app version of this. So the UID is automated, that would be that, linked to that password. Uh, one thing unfortunately you have to do is uh, for the current members you need to update what belts there are. So it's in the notes what Dan there were but it wasn't able to populate it directly. So I needed to physically go and put myself as a fourth Dan. You'll need to do that with all your members but um, I don't think you can at the moment but the SAKF will do that as they grade. Uh, the, the Dan grades will be the first to get the Dan's um, updated. Um, the other thing also to notice as the stats come in, you'll see um, what the attendance rate is. And um, yeah, so this is more of a general view. The, the attendance stats will give you more info, but that's a different thing altogether. It will be another video. But this is where you capture new, new um members details. Once you've captured them, what I would suggest then is to go and send them a message immediately, going to this option here, and sending them a message to tell them what the password is so they can download the app. How you do that is once you've got a new member, say from, for instance, we use in Ravonia Kinder Club, Info Ravonia Kinder Club, this is by default, and which members you want to send it to, just Warren, and you want to use a specific template, use the Dojo Login App Template. Okay, that will log it in for you and also say hello, this is the app's name, this is how you download it, this is your password, this is the link to the video that you would have seen, and press send to send it to the person. As simple as that. You can even use this messaging system if you want to be able to smell your uh, members on specific stuff, um, only for your dojo. Unfortunately, you'll only be able to mail your members, so it's things like payments, whatever else. So it's yours, free to use the, the email. The S SMSs doesn't work yet because we have to pay for this SMS, so we haven't activated it. And the invoicing and that has to still be done. Um, as I said, the attendance, uh, that I can show you how to bulk load attendance. So for instance, if you had a class, say today, you could load in today and you could just tick off the people um, here rather than scanning or capturing the, the UID uh, words. So this is like the old version of best attendance where you can just tick on and save. If you get any new members this is a little bit of a um, uh, not a glitch but it's a, something you need to we need to fix but just say you have a visiting member you can type in their name here let's say Michael Grice came for instance um, to send to Ravonia uh, Okay, it's not doing it. Oh, okay, so the, the reason being is because Michael Grice isn't listed anywhere in here. So you would need to let us know the SAKF to add Michael Grice as a, a visitor. Not as a person on here, but as a visitor who can be registered. Just so that's the one glitch I was referring to. Okay, and um, that's about it. I'm not going to keep this video too long. Uh, we'll talk about the attendance statistics. You're welcome to play around in the attendance statistics at a later stage. Just take a look, see what um, what comes up. But uh, it is a bit limited, so we'll need to you know just play around with this still um, at a later stage. Okay, all right, enjoy.